What's up guys? Chad here, Adler Farms. If you're a subscriber and you've been with the channel very long, you know that I'm a DeWalt fanboy. That might be an understatement. I own everything DeWalt. Not sponsored, they have no idea who I am. I just like the tools, I like the quality. This is the new pole saw. It uh, has an eight inch blade. Okay. And it's really cool. If you've ever had a traditional pole saw, usually there's a cable that runs down it to drive that. Uh, but what's nice is since this is electric, all you need to do, see that? It's like plugging it in. It's just extending the power. And then the motor up front is of course what turns the blade. Now you do need a little bit of chain oil. See if we got any here. Nope, bone dry. Thanks to Walt. Good thing mom and dad are right around the corner. But the way you connect it, line up your two arrows. Pretty ingenious design, but this is threaded. This is some kind of polymer. It's not plastic. It's too heavy duty to just be plain old plastic. I don't know if it's like thermo resin or something like that. Thermo resin is what they make uh, bowling balls and football helmets out of. You get two of those, one here and one here. And your power source, you got a safety trigger, of course. Okay, won't engage unless you got both of them pushed down. Overall length is 15 feet. What I like is that you can break it down and store it. <laughs> they don't send bar oil. What a crock. Blade cover, you got a chain tensioner. So it's pretty handy. This is the tool only because I already have enough batteries uh, in all the other tools I own, but it did not come with bar oil, chain oil, if you will. And Man, come on, DeWalt. Throw a little, what are they, like a two ounce bottle? Throw one in there just so you can run it one time without having to go to the store or something. Thankfully, mom and dad are right down the road, so I'm gonna go grab some bar oil and then we'll try this thing out. So, if you're not subscribed, subscribe while I run and get that oil. Uh, hit that like button and I'll be right back. New to the channel, you know that I've got a whole bunch of fowl from ducks to turkeys and quail and chickens in the backyard and they've all got to come out to the farm and we need to clear some of this out make little pens for them so uh, that gave me enough of a reason to buy a tool that I need <laughs> so um, I've got a chainsaw I've got steel chainsaws dad's got steel weed eaters with the metal cutting blades but I just want to see what this can do so that's what we're gonna do is just cut some stuff and see what happens well I fill this up or top it off I know there's some of y'all, there's still this, seems to be this following of, if it's not gas powered, it's not good enough. Let me tell you something guys, I've got some friends who served this great nation and they fired a whole lot of missiles that are powered by batteries. So think about that for a second. Battery technology's come a long, long ways. And what's nice about this not being gas powered is when you let go of the trigger, it stops. You also don't smell like fuel I, I do happen to like that smell. If you're asking yourself, you know, who is this for? I can't answer that question for you. There's a lot of people with 60 acres and no trees. And there's a lot of people with two acres with more trees than people with 60. So it really just depends on your use. Love that sound. And if you guys are wondering, the neighbor that doesn't like noises out, wondering what I'm doing. If you ever see this buddy, come say hi. But yeah, if you guys are wondering why I'm cutting some of these branches down, um, I've actually got some trail cams and even a cellular powered, solar powered uh, cameras out here. And they're kind of a line of sight thing. And now that the trees are greening up, there's some cameras that I can't see very well on, as well as when the wind blows, and the branches shift, it's setting off the motion detectors. I'm just taking out some of those branches.
All right, guys, and keep in mind as I'm cutting some of these branches down that I'm not revealing why some of them need to come down because they're line of sight with some cameras. And mom and dad may or may not have some sensors on their driveway. So I'm doing a little bit of maintenance with this tool. I'm not running through the forest cutting down limbs, the highest power lines and things like that. I'm just showing you the tool. Now this next branch, hopefully I'm in frame here, but this one we want to take down. When it iced and snowed, it was hanging really, really low. So now's a good time to cut it down. I'm not sure what kind of tree that is, but we don't need it dropping anything in the path of mom and dad's driveway. And oh, this should be a real test. Yeah, it's probably gonna hit my truck. This should be a good time. Yeah, so um, here's how I feel about this. This limb is huge. It should probably be a two person job. I should probably have ear protection on and safety glasses, but I don't. So hit that like and subscribe button because if I get taken out running a battery powered pulse off, man, it's just my time to go. Phew. All right, guys, I'm pretty impressed. Check the tension on that. Tension's still good too. I took a little bit longer on that branch on purpose, safety reasons. I ain't trying to prove anything. I didn't build this tool. It's gonna work, it's gonna work. It's not gonna work more because I press it into that branch and you know, power down. I'm very impressed. This will come in handy. Um, you know, like I said, my dad's got a lot of heavy equipment, you know, big steel chainsaws. Um, you know, we have plenty. As you get older and wiser, <laughs> uh, you learn that you don't need all of that stuff. And sometimes the heavy equipment, it's a lot to drag out. Brushless, so it's gonna last a long time. You know, 15 foot reach. I'm 6'4", uh, depending on if I'm standing next to my younger brother or not. I'm pretty impressed. You know, I didn't push it. Uh, this, that is plastic. This whole housing is plastic, yeah. This is aluminum, which is good because it's light. People kind of dog on plastic sometimes, but the most popular, let's call it a freedom launcher, pew, pew, those are all polymer. Most of those are polymer and this is not near the percussion and I don't think I can say the R word, but it ends with coil. Um, trying not to get flagged, but yeah, this is not near, running this little saw is not near the percussion that something like that would that would cause. And those, you know, I've got thousands and thousands of rounds through some of mine. So, doesn't bother me at all that it's polymer. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. These are tools I use on the farm and I'm going to continue to do some of these reviews and throw them in there every now and then because I just stink and love tools. Hope you guys have a good one. Um, I may roll in footage here at the end. Um, I've got some chickens in the backyard getting pretty flighty and I'm going to use this pole saw even though it's way more than necessary to take out some of those low-hanging branches in the backyard but i'm gonna do it anyway so appreciate you guys wash your hands god bless stay safe and uh like and subscribe we sincerely appreciate it y'all take care hey are you sleeping out here at night i think you are Nothing personal, okay? But I can't have you sitting up there in those branches. Yep. Because then you teach the other ones to jump up there. And I can't have you guys up there. I'm sorry. I know. I know. All right. So here's what's cool, and hopefully I'm in frame. But 
there are absolutely better tools for what I'm about to do. But another thing I like about this is it's extendable up to 15 feet. But you don't have to do 15 feet because honestly, if you're a little bit uh, weaker in shoulder and arm strength, this is a lot to support out there, okay? It's a lot. But you can always break it down. So there's one section. Yeah, I'm laying it down on the ground. It's wet. If it can't handle a little dew in the morning, I don't want it. So now we just line up our arrows. We are, my wingspan's about 6'6", six, six, so I'd say this is seven feet long. So, pretty cool. So before anybody gets too uptight about me cutting branches off this tree, you can see where I've already done it. Right there. That was last year. And honestly, I just don't like ducking when I go underneath it. Um, you know, when Case is out here running around, those are low enough for him to hit his head on, you know, that kind of thing. But really, I just don't want the chickens roosting in the tree. I don't want to start that. But what I'm also going to do, if you can't tell by the background, I've got some quail and I've got 48 quail eggs in the incubator. So I'm going to cut these branches down and then use them to create a live habitat for the quail. So they will get used and it ain't going to hurt this tree. This tree's been here 20 years. This right here is a little bit too big. Um, that's probably almost a foot with this branch coming off the back of it back there. So I'll get this one down and then the one behind it, and then I'll come back later with a more appropriate saw to clean that up a little bit. So yeah, overall, I give it a big thumbs up. Let's see what our oil looks like. Oh yeah, still almost full. I think it's a definite win, guys. Um, like I said, I've got a Craftsman and a steel. You know, between dad and I, I think we've got 10 different saws or 10 different ways to cut something. If this gets a big thumbs up.